Another exciting thing with Teleport Me is the usage of 3D text. Now, if you look here, you'll notice that I have 3D text labeling a parking lot, and I have one up here that is labeling Minneapolis flying over the sky, and it gives it pretty much at an angle that it just looks neat. And you can, you can make it look like it's on a wall, on the ground, pretty much any way and anywhere that you want to put it, you can do it with 3D text. So I'm going to show you just how to do this nice little feature. All right, so in order to do this, you pretty much in your hotspot tab up here, you have hotspot, polygon, and 3D text. Now, hotspot and polygon is something that's been around for a while now, but 3D text is new. So go ahead and click on 3D text. And you'll notice that there is this little fella right here. Now, this is the default settings for 3D text. Now, if you notice, if you move it around, it's going to actually change up exactly how it looks based on a circular 360 degree panorama. Like if I move it up, it's doing the same. We move it down, it's doing the same as well. Now, if we want to say, let's say we want to label something else. Um, but let's just la label the street right here. How about that? So I want to make it look like it's on the street. So I'm going to simply tap here with my mouse. I'm going to move this corner to there, this corner to here. And I'm actually following right here. I'm following the lines of the roof. I'm going to grab this and I'm going to bring it down here. And now I'm going to follow actually the street. And this is kind of an easy way to make sure that you kind of get the text to look right. Like it's actually on the street itself. Now I want to put Washington Avenue. And I completely spelled that wrong. There we go. Perfect. All right. Um, now I'm going to center it just like that. And I think I might just have to stretch this out just a tad. Like so. And then I'm going to change up. There we go. Now I don't want this big black background on it. So I'm going to come right down here to fill color. I'm going to click on that and I'm going to just move the transparency bar all the way down just like so. Now I can pretty much change this to whatever color that I actually want. Uh, like for instance if I want it to be gray and only want it to be slightly transparent I can simply move that around just like so but for this demonstration i'm going to make it completely transparent for the background and let's see oh i do want to change the text color so i'm going to come up here and i think i'm going to make it yellow i think yellow looks good for street names just like that and that was clicking on the, uh, the, the font now behind the font i can simply add a little bit of shadow Kind of like that. I think that sometimes looks actually pretty slick. And that's using the fill bucket uh, that's right next to the font color. Now, I do want to add a border. And I want to add a border hover. And border cut. You know, white is okay, but I think for this, I'm going to make it something just obnoxious. I'm going to make it green. There we go. I'm going to make it much thicker. There we are. And border hover size. Do the same. And hover uh, hover border, I'm going to call it, make it purple. And I'll show you what that, that hover does here in just one moment. Uh, hover fill color is, is set transparent, but we're going to make the hover fill color red. All right, so my fill color right now 
is completely transparent again because I don't want anything as a background for this one my hover fill color is red border size is at six hover border size is at six so they're both gonna be the same border color is green hover border <laughs> hover boarding uh, the hover border color is going to be like a magenta color so let's take a look at that and just see how it looks do, 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 go to the roof and we're going to pan down so now this is what it looks like when you look at the actual tour and if you notice check it out when i move my mouse over it it actually does that and it draws attention now again because this is for demonstration purposes these colors are there just so that you can clearly see what you know how it looks and how it operates and how it works so make it whatever color you want but the nice thing about it is is they can simply move their mouse over it and oh hey that's kind of cool all right washington avenue nice didn't realize that and that pretty much covers 3d text it's pretty easy but it can be very very useful to relay information to your viewers